Bushcraft 412 here, and today, an apology video. I recently got into a bit of an argument with one of my viewers, Sergeant Mustang 375 uh, regarding my older video on SHTF bullets and ammo prepping. And in that video, I basically said that uh, the 7.62x39 bullet yaws and that the uh, Wolf hollow point ammunition doesn't expand. And he disagreed with me on that, and I had kind of said to him, you know, show me one bit of evidence that contradicts me, and I will make an apology video. And here is that video. And I want to kind of go over the evidence, both kind of for and against what I said, and discuss the 7.62 bullet really quick to kind of give an updated and more in-depth analysis of the bullet and what's going on. Now, in my original video, I had said the 7.62 by 39 full metal jacket bullet yaws. And Sergeant Mustang disagreed with that, saying it does not yaw. Now, I've gone through and watched, and he provided a video that shows the, uh, the by AK-47 nut that shows uh, ballistics testing of the bullet. And what it shows is actually a bullet that went in and yawed, but it didn't yaw until after, like, it looks like about close to two feet. Now, if you're using that as a self-defense round, that bullet is not going to yaw within the human body. It's just going to leave a clean, you know, kind of pencil hole wound in and out. So the yawing that occurred was happened so far down the line, you know, at 10 to 15 inches that it wouldn't affect a human being unless maybe they were crouched or laying down and you shot them, you know, through the length of their body cavity. So I wanted to kind of point out that even though the 762 by 39 does yaw, it does not yaw quick enough to really leave, you know, horrible wounds in a person. Now, not to say it can't hit a bone or take a weird dive inside the body and yaw, I'm not saying it can't yaw, I'm saying the yawing that happens, happens, you know, after 10 or 15 inches and really isn't going to be effective in creating huge, gigantic wounds in human beings. Um, so I kind of, I guess we're, we're comparable, well, I don't know if, if Sergeant Mustang is going to agree with me on this, but the yawing, you know, from those ballistic tests, I see the yawing happening just far too late to be effective against people. And like, But, you know, once again, not to say it can't hit a bone and start yawing right away. Who knows? You know, bullets are weird things and always take weird, crazy paths in the body. So it's kind of a kind of a crapshoot. Now, the other point that Sergeant Mustang pointed out was he said that he disagreed with me on the 7.62x39 Wolf Ammo hollow points expanding. Now, I've seen videos both ways showing those Wolf hollow points expanding and I've shown videos of them not expanding one bit. So, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you guys other than that it looks like their expansion is completely unreliable. So take that as you will when you stock up on the ammo. I consider the Wolf hollow points to be full metal jackets. If you disagree, that's, that's completely fine. But I've just seen enough video of them not expanding to not be comfortable using them as an expanding round. So I would never take the wolf hollow points hunting. My personal preference, I think, you know, I really, from what I've seen in my research, that hollow point is there for ballistic purposes and not for expansion. I'm sure it does help an expansion. I'm sure any, you know, opening in the casing will help an expansion and fragmentation, but I just don't think it's reliable enough to say that those wolf rounds are made to expand. Now, of course, you know, you get into the problem with the wolf ammunition period is... It's very low cost ammo. It doesn't have the best reputation on earth. And, you know, it is kind of unreliable. I think, you know, even with the soft points, I've seen information where people said they've recovered bullets that didn't expand that were soft points. And I've also read of people recovering soft points that expanded very well. I really just think it's a quality control thing with their bullets. And. You know, you kind of got to take that with Wolf when you buy it. You know, it's not the best ammo on the market. It's not the most reliable ammo on the market. But I just did want to clarify that and say that, you know, yes, the 7.6 tube does yaw, but not in a manner that's, that's really going to be destructive to a face-to-face -face person on a reliable basis. And that the expansion... It, you know, in my opinion, it's unreliable, so I don't consider it to be an expanding bullet. And 
I understand if people disagree, but Sergeant Mustang did bring that up, and I did initially in my video make it out that that 7.62x39 you know, full metal jacket is going to yaw, causing a huge wound cavity in a person, and that information was not 100% correct. It's, it's not not going to happen unless it's under unusual circumstances. So I did want to point out that I was incorrect in that and apologize to Sergeant Mustang and that he did kind of show me that I was kind of wrong in what I said and didn't give the best information. And I just wanted to point out to you guys that this channel here is about giving people good advice. And if I'm wrong, you know, I would prefer that you guys say something and point me out so that I can do these kind of videos and clarify things a little better because in the end result this channel is about helping people out not about giving out bad information so hope you enjoyed bushcraft 412 with the 762 by 39 round